What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the LLC, where we come to discuss your less than lethal options for home and self-defense. I'm your host, Mr. LLC, and today we're going to talk about attachments. One in particular, a foregrip. And I found, um, not online this time, I actually found this at um, a local sporting goods store. It is this, a folding foregrip. Extreme Tactical Sports, FV1 grip, front to back folding, vertical grip, XCS309, here's the back, so if you guys want to look for that, just go ahead and uh, scan that code or type this into your Google search bar and i will tell you where you can find one. Um, yeah, so I wanted to get something up front here because it, it was kind of bare. And when I'm, when I find that I'm shooting this marker, okay, I'm gripping here like so, okay. And I, sometimes I feel like I'm pulling a little bit too hard on the magazine or I'm pulling on the magazine. Well, I, I don't think I am. I'm holding more up here than down here, but. It just feels like I'm going to do something to this. So I want to put an independent grip just right up here. We're going to try this out. So let's go ahead and get it open here. Uh, don't need any scissors. No, I like packages like that. Okay, you don't need any scissors to get open. No knife, no nothing. There is a... The Ziploc pouch. Now this comes in pretty affordable. Uh, Twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine plus tax, of course. I guess it all depends on where you get it. I'm sure you can get it cheaper online, but by the time you pay for uh, shipping and tax, you might as well just pick it up at your local brick and mortar. And plus, it does help support. Your local brick and mortar help them stay open too. So, getting that out of the bag. Here we have our grip. Pretty cool. So, the way it works, you depress this side, this button, and it frees it so you can angle it back to stow it or if you don't want to use it angle it front or you can even have it uh, I think you can does it stop in between no it doesn't I thought it did but no so you can do that and the one thing with this you don't need a separate allen key or anything you can just you unscrew here loosen it up and slide it on so that's what we're going to do today I'm going to go ahead, put this on there, and uh, see what it looks. <clears throat> so, I think we're going to settle for, I don't I'm not going to put it all the way back. It's going to be something like so-ish. I want to leave room for maybe a laser or something up here. So, let's see what that, what that feels like. So, we just go ahead and, and unloosen that. Now, you don't have to worry about this flopping around because there's a spring in there. You know how some attachments you unscrew things and it just falls apart. Well, this one's got a screw, and so you can just loosen it. I mean, a spring, so you can loosen it. Um, but I'm going to. I believe you, you probably still have to. Uh, all right. So once we got it there. Uh, we can slide it to whatever position we want. I want it. We're going to settle for here for right now. Let's see what that looks like. Now we'll just tighten it back up from the other side. I, I guess I should show you. Just tighten it back up on this side. To put snug. So, 
And I got to show you one other thing about this foregrip too, which is pretty cool. All right, so we've got it on there snug. Does not wobble at all. So you get a little little wiggle here, but there's no wobble on the rail, which is what I like. Some attachments do wobble on the rail. Like I was talking about this. No matter how tight I make this here, it's still... So we're getting rid of this eventually. Okay. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We have our grip. And, oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, I'm going to be stowing this in my in my gun locker, I, I believe. That's where it's going to live right now. And that's going to help because <clears throat> the space is already limited. I put my uh, release on the left since it's going to be on the left-hand side and I shoot right-handed. I'll be holding this so I can easily go like that. And even if I want an angle foregrip, I can go like that. It stops right there. Which is perfect. So I think that's where it's going to stay. Okay. I want it like that. I can grip. And it's comfortable in the hand. It is plastic. It's $20. It's, it doesn't, it's not very heavy. So, and it does not feel cheap, but you can feel it's plastic. Okay. And it's a good, good grip as well. And so I want to stow it away and go like that. It locks into place. And it conserves room in the locker. Um, it does not add a lot of weight to the front of the marker. Okay. Um, but it is, I think it looks, one, it looks cool. It matches. Um, it does not stand out. It's ergonomic, functional, and it looks cool. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you about this uh this grip it's pretty cool on the bottom here just turn it around <clears throat> on the bottom here you can unscrew that hang on I haven't done it yet so I don't let me get Hang on a second. Let me get a quarter or something. All right. So <clears throat> it's supposed to unscrew. I guess I did have it on. Yeah, I had it unlocked already. I thought it unscrewed all the way. And there's a compartment. You can put your Allen key in there or some oil or something. Um, something not in there. See? Put a couple of pepper balls or something. Whatever can fit in that hole, you can store it, stick it in there, and that's it. So, I made it harder than it seemed to take off. You just got to do that and pry it off, put it back on. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check. Oh, and uh, in case you guys are wondering... We are empty, unloaded. Okay, so <clears throat> that's uh, that's a new addition, accessory to the M17. I think is rather cool, functional, affordable, and it looks badass. I gotta say. That being said, uh, you got any questions, comments, set them down below. Um, thanks again for everybody tuning in. If it's your first time coming across the channel, I just want to say welcome. And yeah, go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you know when I put out new content. Uh, Thank you for watching my videos. I, I really appreciate it. All you guys that, that stick around. <clears throat> I know there's so many others you could watch, but if you choose to watch mine, I appreciate it. Uh, that being said, something is better than nothing. Protect you and yours. Stay safe, everyone. God bless. Peace.
Attachment City. I love it. Loving it. What's your favorite attachment? Let me know.